Weaving with two shuttles can be a bit of a challenge, so I'm going to show you today how I managed to get pretty good edges with, uh, with two shuttles. So the first thing is you've got two, so I've got my two shuttles here. I've got my fuchsia, I've got my slate, and you can see that I'm going fuchsia, slate, fuchsia, slate, fuchsia, slate, fuchsia, and I'm ready to go with a slate. So I'm going to grab my working shuttle. That's the one that I'm, the slate, the one I'm going to use. And I'm going to look and see, look at that, we're tangled. So we're going to untangle things first. So I've got my two shuttles. They're here. You can see the two threads. Nothing's tangled. There we go. The two threads. Nothing's tangled. And it's the working one that I want to use. So the slate is my working shuttle. That's the shuttle that I'm going to throw next. It's coming out underneath of that last end. The fuchsia is going to act as an end. So since I've gone under this one, I want to go over top of the fuchsia. So I want to wind off enough off the fuchsia so that I can go over top easily. You'll know we've got it right because that fuchsia will be caught up by the slate. So I'm going to slide forward here. Press my weft into place. And then I'm going to send my fuchsia shuttle through. Now I'm doing the same thing at the other end with my shuttle. You just can't see it because I don't have enough hands to show you both sides of my work. So just trust me that I'm doing the same thing over here and then I'll show you again how I'm doing it when I get back to the other side where we can see. All right, so here I am back again. Oh, let's get that other fuchsia sent over. All right, here we are ready to go. So again, my slate is the working yarn. That's the one I'm going to throw next because I just did the, the fuchsia. Uh, my slate is underneath that last pick. Now, if I did it the wrong way, I want to show you what happens. See how that last end isn't caught. There's nothing going around it. That's not what I want. That's going to give me a messy, sloppy edge. So we're going to pull it out. I'm going to look at it's going underneath that last end. So that means it needs to go over top of the fuchsia. And we're going to have to get ourselves a bit untangled here. So it's looking complex and difficult while I'm doing it here, but when you actually get into a rhythm of it, it can go nice and smoothly. You'll hardly even have to think about it. See how that's caught that end weft now, and this is looped under and secure. And then I can just give that a little tug. I give it a little tug because sometimes when I do the previous color, it pulls it in a bit. So I just give it a little tug out and it fixes things up. And there we go. That's how you're going to do your two shuttles for your log cabin tea towels. <laughs> 